my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop. Alright, now control N to bring our new layer up. Now it doesn't matter the size that you use. I just want mine to be 3000 over here and then 3000 over here and then set the resolution to 100%. That's me. I don't know what you want to use. Click on create. Now once you are done, I want you to go and pick this particular cube. I'm going to leave it in the description for you together with the font that we are going to be using. Now I want to click on Alt and Shift if you are using Photoshop CC 2018 and then resize it like this. Awesome. So great. Now we have something like this. We need to go to Filter and go to Vanishing Points. But we can't do that unless we first right click here and then Rasterize Layer and then go back to Filter and then the Vanishing Point is going to be available. Click on it and then click over here on the Create Plane and then Zoom In and then click at the edges of it i zoomed in because i just want to be very precise all right now we have it now i want you to click on control and then alt click the middle here and then drag it down now let's do some minor adjustments to it then drag this one in there awesome click over here click on control then alt and then drag it down as well then let's see so i think this one is great click on ok now it's keyed in there nicely that's what we want to see click on your text tool and then type over here type th enter ink something like this i'm using alpha slab one i'm going to leave it in the description for you to download also make sure it is right aligned and then just resize it click on your move tool and then resize it now you're going to resize it as we go along so don't worry send it somewhere here duplicate it send it somewhere here and then let's click on outside i want you to click on this all right now for this one let's click over here we want it to be right aligned this is right aligned this is left <laughs> aligned guys now let's duplicate it and then let's drag outside down let's call it let's call it the box so think outside the box now let's hide everything with the exception of think with think selected click on control and click over here make sure it is selected click on control c to copy it now hide it and then control D to deselect it. Create a new layer. Go to filter. Go to vanishing point. And then paste it there. You're going to have to think here. Now sweet. Now control T to transform it. And then rotate it that way. Let's drag it closer. Keep rotating it until you have. You make sure everything is you know, at the right spot. And then drag it up. Drag here. Up. Drag here. <laughs> drag here like that okay just keep it until you have a very perfect you know size you want it as close to the edge as possible but i don't want it to cross the edge so now this is quite great click on enter now so you see it appears on the layer over here that is what we want now you can hide this now go back to outside click on it Click on Ctrl and then click on the T over here on the thumbnail. Ctrl C to copy it. Hide it and then Ctrl D to deselect it. Now create a new layer and then go to filter, go to vanishing points and then Ctrl V to paste it. Let's move it, let's see. Now Ctrl T and then let's drag it to the edge, drag it to the edge drag it to the edge drag it to the edge just like that now you can click on ok awesome this is on a new layer now click on the box bring it all right click on control and click on the t or the thumbnail control c to copy it hide it control d to deselect it and then create a new layer 
Now I want us to go to filter, let's go to vanishing point and then let's paste it there. Let's drag it here. Awesome. Now control T over there as well to transform it. Let's drag it all the way to the edge. 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 And just like that, we are done with it. Now let's click on OK as well. So now at this point, there is one thing that we can do. We can click this, click this, and then click this, and then drag it down. And then let's hide it as well. Now with this and this and this, let's put it up. Awesome. Let's hide this as well. Okay, click over here and then let's create a new solid color. Let's set it to black. Click on OK. So now open it. Let's call it box. Now open it. The first one over here double click it go to color overlay click over here let's choose this color any color you want guys okay but make sure the brightness over here the b over here is 100 percent click on ok now over here double click it go to color overlay Set the brightness to 75%. Click on OK. Double click here. Go to color overlay. Set the brightness to 50%. Click on OK. And guys, just like that, you've created a very nice effect over here. Now, I want you to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel if you love this video. There are more videos like this that I keep on creating. I don't want you to miss any of them. And so guys, please subscribe to this video and send your comments as well. I love you guys. See you in the next tutorial. Peace.